hi and welcome to my channel or welcome back if if you're a subscriber um if you're new welcome um yeah so i've got another unboxing um that i'd like to do and this one is for the fortune oracle by sharina star um yeah i'll i'll just take off the plastic and we'll get straight into it um now sharina is from over here and years ago i used to read a column of hers um yeah so and she's she's got a few decks and it's by rockpool publishing um okay we'll start we'll read the back here and get right into it we all have the power to know what the future holds each card in this set contains one personal or spiritual message and the, the accompanying, accompanying guidebook or the accompanying book offers a more detailed explanation to guide you in your understanding. Simply hold your question in your mind and trust yourself and soon you will receive powerful messages that will direct you on your life's path to fortune. Yay, that's what we could all use. Um, Sharina Starr is a renowned Australian psychic. Her insight into the creation of this oracle will guide you in the awakening of powers once thought forgotten. Okay, so let's get going. Um, that's your usual app if, if um, you're interested in it. Let's take a look. What have we, oh, we've got gilding. Yay. Um, some of you know how much I love gilding. Um, I'll just put the slip in there. And sorry about the bits and pieces. We'll get that all out of the way for a moment. There we go. So here's the backs. Um, it's on the thin side, but it's still quite flexible with the card stock. We'll jump into the guidebook first, though. I wasn't expecting gilding, but I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, so let's have a look. What does the guidebook say? And there's a dedication. Table of contents. Introduction. How to use the cards it's 36 cards um, each of which holds one personal spiritual message we just read a bit on the back about that the back of the box reading the cards one question reading three card spread so yeah drawing one card drawing three cards past present future and then it jumps into the card meanings so how do they come up oh wow okay so obviously the above i think it's probably i'm guessing yeah i think it might be in um yeah it's in alphabetical order um so obviously it gives a quick little blurb about the actual card itself um and then a bit more of an explanation but yeah here look if you're pulling the card about personal relationships, if that's your question, or career or money, uh, and then Sharina's power tip. Okay, so it goes that way. Yeah, personal relationships, career, money, power tip. Right, so, and that's her there. Hang on, I'll just check if I haven't missed anything. This is Sharina. A dynamic motivational speaker, author, marriage celebrant, feng shui consultant, grief counsellor, young adult mentor and private investigator who brings her special brand of fun to any occasion. Um, a celebrated intuitive, she began her radio career yeah, with a guest spot on Stan Zermanic. Yeah, that's right, I remember him now. Um, his program on in 1995. Oh, that ages me. Um, yeah. And so she's still going. She's got a few decks, like I said. I may actually review another deck of hers down the track. Um, 
one of the previous ones I've already got. And there's her, um, I'm sorry, I don't know if I've got it close enough or if it's clear enough, but there's her website and she's on Facebook by the look of it. Pretty easy to remember, Sharina Star. Oh, okay, and then notes. Yep, that's it for the guidebook for the moment. Okay, let's have a look now in the cards and what they are. We know the first one was abundance. And look, it's got a little bit on the bottom too, so it, it helps to let you know, like, um, if you're not wanting to jump into the book. And it says here, lucky times are ahead of you, along with good news, success and prosperity. Yay. Everyone wants that. Yay. I might not read them all, um, but I'll show them all to you, obviously. Um, I don't know. Hopefully the camera's clear enough that you guys can read the little writing at the bottom. So the other one, sorry, I didn't even read the top. But angel. So this one was Angel. Um, I never know until I've already done it, like whether the wording is clear for you guys or not this one says beware be careful who you trust at this time birth universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility celebrations and as I always do at the end, we'll pull some cards and see what we um, get. And I'll jump into the guidebook so you can see what, um, what it says. Chariot. Cracker. Dragonfly. Eagle. Again, I'm not sure if you guys can actually see it, if it's clear enough or not. Fire. Flowers. Full. This is giving a, we got the chariot and now full. It's giving me a bit of tarot vibes too. <coughs> Goals. Here we go again. Judgment. So there's a bit of a tarot influence, or at least I'm picking up that anyway. Um, key. Lion. Again, that reminds me of the strength card. It's neither 11 or 8, but 16. Love. Lovers. Okay, that's another tarot card. Luck. Yay, four leaf clover. Marriage. Moon. Again, picking up on the tarot. <laughs> mountain. Well, this is in a Lenormand deck, mountain. And so is flowers. Ooh, okay. Owl. Because flowers came through earlier. Patience. giving me temperance vibes phoenix plain proposal that's giving me the um lenormand ring card snake isn't there a lenormand card with snake or something serpent or something Oh, I don't know enough about Lenormand to 
<laughs> make that assumption, but I've got a feeling there is. Star, there might be a Lenormand stars or something as well. Sun, well, there's a sun card in um, tarot. Okay. Thorns. Thorns, is there anything like that in the Lenormand deck? Thorns, there's whip. That's not a pleasant card. Um, <clears throat> transformation, well, death in the tarot is the transformation card. Um, or is it the tower? Death or the tower is transformation. Unicorn, okay, that stands alone. <laughs> I don't think there's the unicorn in either of those dial decks. Unity. Wish. Oh, look, that's almost like a heart. And world, which again is the like the world. Um, be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. <coughs> Sorry. My throat's gone again. Okay, so... Let's get a bit of, I'll give them an initial shuffle and then I'll do the bridge with them and see how they go. But I feel like they'll be alright with the bridge as long as, as long as I get it working for me. Like, um, yeah, as long as I do the bridge properly it should be um, fine. I think that they're flexible enough. Yeah, yeah, they're fine. One more just to make sure. I know we did a um, brief shuffle just a minute ago, but yeah. One more and then we'll see what comes through for us. Okay. So what messages can we get from this deck today? What do we need to know? Well, you look like you're sticking out. Yes. Star. I want to get more than one to sort of see how it comes through. What else? Can we get more than one? What do we need to know? Any other messages we can get? star hard times are over oh yay look forward to an abundance of happiness enthusiasm and positivity wow well that's a good start um, okay so let's look up that 29 okay it's got a little picture, but you can't really see it. Now, I'll, I'll give a read of all of it because it seems, oh, excuse me, it seems like um, that that's the only card that wanted to come through and so far looks like it's a good card for us. So, yay. Okay, so we've got the star. I'll read it from up here near the light because I can't see it when it's not under the um, ring light. So the initial blurb bit, like I'll read the, the um, one in italics and then I'll read the other and so on. Okay, so we have hard times are over. Look, oh, that was what it said on the card. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm and positivity. You may have recently faced difficult times or felt uninspired and hopeless. You 
may have suffered from unrealistic dreams and goals or feelings of jealousy. You may have been battling negativity or feelings of revenge or hate towards someone. This card shows you have endured many of life's challenges. The good news is that the future will be filled with more hope, optimism and enthusiasm. You will have a fresh perspective on life. Okay, so then we'll jump into the personal relationship. Oh, my nose is itchy. <laughs> That's what I was doing before, trying to itch my nose. Um, personal relationships. Much healing has taken place spiritually and you have forgiven yourself for any negative feelings from the past. You've, you're feeling so energized that the brand new you is sparkling like a diamond in the sky. Your aura is electric and attracts what you want easily. Yay! Families will feel more harmonious and peaceful existences are welcomed. With long-standing arguments a thing of the past. Yay! Wishes may come true regarding personal relationships. You will attract positive opportunities in love, maybe even a new life partner or loyal or a loyal friendship, which is your heart's desire. Um, career money. This card shines on your career and finances more than any other in the pack. There will be satisfying pats on the back for jobs well done and many rewards and celebrations. Yay to you guys. Yay. Um, you will feel proud about an achievement in the near future that will be a cause for celebration and money gains. Yay. Your self-esteem returns big time as you attract offers thick and fast. Um, move up the career ladder at a furious pace is or moving up the career ladder is a, at a furious pace is exhausting but thrilling. You're heavily in demand. Whoa, yay to you guys. Um, and Sharina's power tip, because I've read the um, relation, personal relation, personal slash relationships, career slash money. Now Sharina's power tip. I don't know if the camera's picking it all up. I don't know how clear it is. Sorry if it isn't clear. Um, Sharina's power tip. Leave a gold money box containing gold coins on the left-hand side of a desk or near the telephone for wealth and success. Purchase either a red or bling. Purchase either a red or bling mobile phone cover to bring good news. Okay, didn't know that. <laughs> There you go. So um, I feel like that was the only card that wanted to come through. And yay, isn't that fantastic for us? I think that's fantastic. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm so glad that I've got a, a fortune telling deck that I like <laughs> um, because of the one, the one I did before this was not so great. Um, but let's not go there. We've got a fantastic card. Yay. Um, yeah, things are looking up um, for whoever's watching. Um, that's, that's your card, bang. Everything's, everything's in motion. Everything's moving, you know, in, in the direction you're wanting it to. 29, number 29, 2 and 9 comes to an 11. That's a master number of surface. And I always say that, the one on its own is personal power, double personal power, yay, in my view, you know. Um, and 11, of course, is a relationship number as well. But it's saying everything is actually going to be good. All the difficulties from the past, hard times are over. Yay. Um, okay, so um, let me know what you guys think of this deck but yeah this one I, I, I'm really liking this one this is going to go with all my other decks that I specifically use for when I'm looking for um, messages about luck for any reason yeah so this this is going to be one of the ones that I'll be jumping in and, and using quite regularly um, yeah so let me know what you guys think if you like this deck. Um, hopefully you're seeing 
I don't know if there's a if the lights um making it clear or not but anyway yeah um i hope you've enjoyed this um review and again like i said let me know what you think of this deck if you like it or, or what you know if you don't whether it's something that you think you could add to your collection or yeah um i'd love to hear in the comments um read in the comments and I'll, I'll obviously i'll answer any comments that are left as well um but yeah good luck is coming to you everything's going to be clear and and you know the way forward is about is coming it's it's here it's really already here for you guys and it's what a fantastic card to to pull for for, for us all here right now um Yes, yeah, so with that, I wish you all the best of luck. Until next time, bye for now.